So if you're wearing a cotton shirt right now, there's a one in chance, 10 chance, one in 10, that the cotton in it was graded for quality right here in Corpus Christi. Island Moon publisher Dale Rankin actually had to leave the island briefly to take a look at the local laboratory where that grading is done. And here's tonight's Island Report. As the name implies, most of our reports are on the island. But this week, we're going over the bridge to take a look at how the cotton crop in South Texas gets its papers graded. One in every 10 bales of cotton in the United States comes through the cotton lab right here in Corpus Christi. Islander Dwight Jackson works for the National Cotton Council. Uh, it's about 10% of the cotton in the United States, maybe give or take, comes through this class and office. Depends on the year. 10% of the cotton in the country comes right through here. Yes, it, it, it. Samples from 36,000 bales of cotton collected from 1 million acres of land and 58 cotton gins come through these doors every day to be graded. The temperature controlled environment is designed to keep the moisture content of each sample at 7%. Moisture affects color and fiber strength and those determine value. Ben Robles runs the lab and has been in the cotton business for 31 years. What's the difference between a great bale of cotton and a not so great bale of cotton? A great bale of cotton probably will be one that comes from a good variety and that it is planted and harvested immediately so it's not affected by the weathering. Texas produces about half the cotton in the United States, $2 billion worth last year alone and it all gets graded in places just like this. Where does Texas cotton generally fall in there, in those standards, in that, in that array? It has a good quality. Obviously, we're from Texas. <laughs> There's only one thing Robles doesn't allow. You ever catch any of your employees wearing polyester? Once in a while, but we do not fire them, though. You don't fire them, you execute them, right? <laughs> Definitely, yes. For 3 News and the Island Moon newspaper, I'm Dale Rankin and we'll see you on the island. Yeah, they're in the business of cotton, so yeah. that kind of makes sense, I guess.